Welcome to Johnson RV. My name is Bryce Jench, and today we're going to take a look at the 2005 Monaco Diplomat. This is the 30 PDQ. So we're quad slide. We're actually on a 350 uh, Cummins, uh, and then this is on a custom built uh, Roadmaster chassis. This is an RR8, so it's a raised rail chassis, and we've got eight outboard airbags. Uh, and the nice thing about the raised rail chassis is when we get to the outside storage here. So what I'd like to do is just walk around the outside, uh, jump in the inside too. Maybe you'll see some things that you didn't quite see in the pictures. So follow me. We do have electric steps. We've got a entry door awning as well as our patio awning. And then since this is a quad slide on all four slides, we're also going to have awning toppers as well as we're going to have, um, window awnings as well excuse me so every window that we have here except for the one where the actual awning is you'll be able to block out a lot of the a lot of the sun coming in but still get the light so as we come around we're going to have a fuel station on both sides so it doesn't matter which side's available in the in the uh, gas station just pull right up and you'll be able to fuel either or here's our main storage here so we do have a slide out joey bed um, but it's a double bay full pass-through storage. You got outlets back here as well as well as your cable TV So if you want to bring a television out here um, You know during the daytime catch a game outside you're more than welcome to do so As we make our way back, we're gonna have your output for your propane furnace 10 gallon water heater Docking lights so as you're backing up and you're pulling into a park or maybe back at home You've got a clear visibility of what's going on Back here are our four house batteries, as well as our two chassis batteries, and there's a disconnect for both, so chassis and, uh, and house disconnect. And then back in this storage compartment, we do have some storage, as well as a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, so you'll be able to run the microwave off of battery power, all your outlets will work off of battery power as well, so those times where you find yourself dry camping. Coming around the back, uh, what I do want to point out is we do have a one-piece fiberglass back cap as well as we have a fiberglass one-piece front cap as well. This is an all-aluminum construction and then up on top uh, you're, you're an aluminum construction as well uh, with a fiberglass uh, roof. 10,000 pound tow receiver. Uh, so we've got a thousand pound tongue weight on this as well and all your power hookups for vehicles or trailers are going to be underneath that as well. Coming around to the side, since this is a diesel pusher, we got a 50 amp shore power cord. Plenty of length on that. Again, more docking lights, output for that furnace, and then we also have your um, uh, service panel for the refrigerator that's in here. Now outside at our dump station, so this is our, our dump and hookup station. You see we've got a water filtration system, outside shower. All your hookups are gonna be out here, but it's real convenient. Not only do you have lights outside, but you're also able to turn on the water pump from out here too. So you don't have to keep making the trip back and forth, inside, outside, inside, outside. Another thing you'll notice, uh, and it may be hard, a little hard to pick up on camera, but there is a little 12 volt heater out there. So this does have a winter package. So kick that on in the winter time. The fresh water tank is behind the whole hookup station here, so you'll be able to keep your, your fresh water from freezing. Propane tanks in this compartment. I also forgot to mention our full body paint too. So the way we see this paint is the way that it will be forever. None of this is gonna fade or peel over time. Um, underneath our slide is the other side to that pass through storage. And like I mentioned before, you can also fuel either driver or passenger side. In our panel here, we're gonna have the output for your, um, for your 8,000 watt diesel generator, as well as all of your uh, chassis fuses as well. Side mirrors are heated. There's just, there's, there's a lot to talk about this coach. Uh, I do know that this was garage kept and it was very well maintained. Let's go ahead and go inside and take a look at sitting inside the cockpit of the 2005 Monaco Diplomat 38 PDQ. Just wanted to point out a couple things that we've got going on. Uh, up here we do have our leveling system. We've got a 3000 Allison transmission. Um, so pulling cars, trailers, that'll be no big deal at all. 
your backup camera here. The backup camera also has a microphone hooked up to it. So if you're backing up and somebody's yelling at you, you'll be able to hear them from up here. Uh, generator start, it's the, you know, you've got battery boost as well. So dead chassis batteries, you'll be able to pull from the house and be able to get up and, and get out so you're not necessarily stranded. Uh, we do have flex steel captain's chairs up here. Both the driver and passenger are powered. Um, let's wander through the rest of this. We've got a sofa sleeper here. Uh, we've got another little sleeper here, little little uh, uh, love side love. It's a love seat. Excuse me, lost my lost my brain there. Um, but we do have heating ducts underneath here as well. Coming into the, your kitchen area, three burner propane cooktop, convection microwave oven. Nice deep sink here, double-sided. Soap dispenser as well, and just lots and lots of storage. I mean, look how look how big this is here. And, and all your cabinets, they all pull out all the way, so there's no reaching underneath trying to find what it is that you packed away, but just storage and storage all over in this kitchen. And then you've got a nice little pantry over in our dinette area, um, this does extend. And then underneath the bed are two more chairs so you can easily fit four people here up to the dinette. Monaco quality, all of this is gonna be real wood. So slam them, nothing is, is a particle board at all. We do have a four door fridge and ice maker and freezer. This is gonna be two way, so 110 and propane. And then coming back into our bathroom area, we've got a sliding bathroom door here. This is a split bath, so your shower is out, but it's you know real, real nice size shower here. I don't know if my camera person can make it through, but plenty of plenty of interior height there. So sink's going to be outside of, of where our toilet is, and that's going to be stashed behind a door here. And we are at an angle on that toilet, so it makes it a little easier for some people to, to fit in there. Our control panel, our inverter control, and your thermostat are going to be here. This is dual zone, so you'll have front and rear uh, uh, heating and air conditioning. Uh, your water heater also works off of propane or 110 as well, so you really have options to save on fuel uh, while you're camping. Coming back into the bedroom, we've got a walk around island queen bed. Um, and then just again, more storage and storage, nice little desk area to sit up at, maybe do your makeup, have a laptop hooked up there. You got another television, just more storage, plenty and plenty of it. And then we do have a combo washer dryer here. And then all of your house fuses and, um, uh, breaker box. And then back here nice big closet I mean plenty of plenty of space to hang there's also lights in here as well um, you know plenty more to see uh, I'm sure this may have brought up more questions again my name is Bryce Gench you can give me a call at 503-668-5400 thanks for watching